you say this next man up and everything like that, but what is what is the challenge of Don Brown was talking about how good of a job you did coming in, you know, in that second half and directing traffic against the Army, but what is the challenge of not getting to play and then finally getting thrust into that? Um, well, you know, we, we all prepare the same way. We all see the same formations during practice and all that type of stuff. So it's just translating to the field now. So seeing those formations, seeing the pulls, seeing the running back do this and that. So, you know, we all get the same preparation. So it's just about basically executing. How's Josh doing? <clears throat> oh, he's doing great. Okay. He's, he's feeling okay? Yeah, he's feeling really great. How, does he, how has he helped you prepare for these moments? Um, well, you know, we room before the game yeah. uh, at the away game. So, you know, we talk about different things, formations, what, what you could possibly see, all that type of stuff. And even when he did go down Saturday, you know, he was still helping me, you know, making sure I was good, making sure I saw this and that and everything that he saw from where he was at. So, so you got the call to go in a few weeks ago. You were probably you felt like you were ready. You were prepared? Yeah, I was definitely prepared, you know, because we, like I said, we practiced hard on those formations and all that. So I was definitely prepared. Coach Harbaugh said it was unacceptable, some of the stuff that he saw out there. What was his message to you? What was Don Brown's message to you after that game, all of you guys? Um, basically that we got to come in this week. You know, We're going to go through the film together as a defense and as an offense. We're going to go through the things that you know went wrong. We're going to clean that up. We're going to get ready for records. What do you think happened? What, what do you think went wrong? Um, I mean, I think it was just you know we had a game plan, and they had a game plan too, and they were just having to win that day. What's Don Brown's style and after a game like that? Does he read you the riot act or is it matter of fact or down to earth or what? Um, I mean, he's down to earth. I mean, you know, he's just, like I said, he's just going to come in, show us the things that are wrong, make sure that's all cleaned up, and get us ready to go to practice. What makes you confident that you guys can still obtain all your goals this year? Because um, I, I believe in the coaching staff 100%. I know that they're going to prepare us the way that we need to be, and I know that they're always going to get us ready and they're always going to have our back. So I believe in them 100%. Talk about the resolve that you see in this in this team and the guys. Have any of the leaders stepped up on this team and talked to you guys? Um, especially after the game, a lot of the guys were definitely upset. I mean, I, mm-hmm. we were all upset after sure. the game, but you know, definitely even at halftime, you know, guys like Josh Uche telling us, you know, keep our head up. You know, the game's not over. There's still a whole another half to play. So, you know, guys like him, Josh Metellus, you know, just a bunch of the older guys, just telling the younger guys, keep your head in it. Don't lose your health. Don't lose your head. You know, don't lose yourself. And, you know, so. Did you take any solace in the way you guys played in the second half? Um, I mean, you know, the way that we finished, you know, but um, honestly, I just feel like, We'll be good. Once we mm-hmm. once we collect ourselves this week and find ourselves, I think everything will be good. What did you see were some of the problems with the fits they were talking about on Saturday? Um I personally haven't seen yet, but I know that today we're gonna go through all that. <laughs> we're gonna clean up all that, so yeah. how frustrating is it when you guys you know you see Jonathan Taylor just toss up with people and when you you know, gash you guys in the you know uh, it's tough, but I mean, you know, it's the game. Like I said, you know, we had a game plan, they had a game plan, and they just won that day. So, was it different than what they did last year? I know you didn't play last year, but was their game plan a little bit different than what you guys saw last year? No, I don't think it was. Just, I don't think it was different. Mm-hmm. I think just, you know, he's a good back. Yep. You know, he was patient, and once he found his cre- uh, crease, you know, he just took it. So, I don't think the game plan was different. I think they just executed it. There. How do you put a game like that behind you? Is it is it easy to just focus on the next team, or does that kind of dwell, you know, linger a little bit? Um, I mean, I know for us, you know, of course we're gonna we're gonna talk about it, and then you know you got to move past it because there's a lot more games left this season, so you can't you can't dwell on it too long. But you know you do have to correct the mistakes and fill all that up. So after the game on Saturday, who who spoke up in the locker room or did anyone? In terms of player leadership? Um, like I said, Josh Uche, um, Josh Metellus, uh, Levert, you know, all those guys basically basically letting the young guys know that, you know, it's going to happen. This is the game of football. It's going to happen. We're going to lose. We're going to win some. And basically just letting us know to keep our heads up. There are more games this season, and the season's not over with yet. Apologize if you've been asked this, but is is it easy to shut out the outside noise, and especially when you're hearing former players are, are being critical of what the what the product was on Saturday? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you just got to remember that 
that as long as everybody in this building, we're all together. So we can't turn our back on each other. We can't do anything like that. So, you know, sometimes you just have to block out the outside noise and just remember that we're a family in here and what happens in here stays in here. So, yeah. Appreciate it, Jordan. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks.